Hey, hey, Sean here. In this video, I'm going to uh, give you an update of the past 10 days. This is the video two part series of my progress getting ready for fitness competition. Now, the point of this video is to inspire you to show you how easily I was able to take fat off my body naturally without any steroids and to show you how you can do the same. And by the end of the video, I'm going to give you the actions you can take to start applying to your life. So hopefully you too can get rid of fat from your stomach and start getting lean, attractive, toned, energetic to have an amazing summer. Sounds good? All right, so now before we get started, I wanna show you something very quickly. So these three items, as I'm holding in my hand, are what I use to track my progress. So I use my cell phone to track my food using a program called my Fitness Pal. That's the first item. Second thing, is I used a simple um, journal to track my training. Over the years, I've tried to use cell phone, etc., for tracking training, but I find actually using, um, using a notebook works a lot quicker and faster, and you, know, you can kind of throw it around in the gym. It's, it's easy to deal with. And this is the secret weapon. This is the one that I, you know, I don't see anybody else using, basically, um, except my coaches and, and people in my mastermind group, and that is I use this to track my wake up time, my uh, sleep time, how much I meditated, if I did my uh, cardio, if I did my gratitude, if I did my self development, if I track my food, if I did my nap, all the routines that I need to do, I track here. Now let me show you um, the value of this. It's because if I didn't, like this is for the past few weeks. See, without doing this, I would not be able to see my progress. Does that make sense? Now. I'm not saying that I'm perfect all the time. I make a lot of mistakes. There are days that I don't get to the gym at the time that I want. There are days that I sleep in. There are days that I miss my workout. There are days that I miss my meals. But the difference is because I keep track of it every single day, I look at my long-term progress. So if I miss a day, I don't get depressed about it. Does that make sense? You know the feeling, right? You miss your workout or you miss a meal and you're like, ah, I screwed this up again. It's not working, right? But by you keeping track of this daily routine, we'll be able to um, keep our motivation. Now, the other day I was talking to one of my coaching clients. He's actually a very good client of mine for, for a while. His name is Paul. And um, Paul was sharing how he was, he was struggling, basically. He wasn't able to get to the gym as much as he liked to, and uh, he missed some of his workouts, etc. And uh, I told him something that I haven't told on camera. And that is, Paul, listen, I told him basically before I get on the camera and I share about my decision to you know, go public with my contest and to share everyone what I'm doing and my body, etc. Um, I actually been doing this for the past three weeks before that. Does that make sense? So three weeks before I go public, I already was trying to get fit. And you know what? I kept screwing up. I kept missing my meals. I kept not following through, right? So the motivation and desire to get ripped for the summer wasn't strong enough. Like the seed was in, but it wasn't strong enough. But again, I didn't have any accountability and I wasn't, I was like, ah, I don't even know if I want to do this. I was kind of in the middle line, right? But thankfully to, for my uh, coach um, and my mastermind friend, Matthew Park, who is helping me to get ready for the show, um, after talking to him, uh, the seed of motivation to get ready, it became bigger and became bigger until I became certain that I'm ready to do this. So you may be at a point where you kind of want to get fed and you kind of want a six pack ab and you kind of want to do this, but you're not committed, you know? You're not fully there. And you know what? It takes a serious commitment to be able to follow through with these routines, to be able to do cardio and follow your meal plans. But I guess the message of motivation is stick with it and the motivation keeps growing. And the biggest breakthrough for me was after about uh, two, three weeks of you know, exercising already, I started to notice the body fat, and I'm gonna take my shirt off in a bit so you can see my abs, but I started to see the difference in my body, and every workout started to become more fun. Does that make sense? So every workout becomes more enjoyable, you start to see definitions in the mirror, and then you start getting so motivated, and then the routine becomes even more um, strict. You know, me and my, uh, my friend have a saying, it's like, I got stuck at the gym, you know. I know that at more than one hour, I don't want to stay at the gym because I know I'm actually, um, for me, it's overtraining. 
but sometimes it feels so good you just don't want to leave the gym right so anyway so what I want to share in this video is um, quickly I'm gonna take my shirt off to show you my progress for the past uh, 10 days so here we go let me just uh, put this aside and I love to know your feedback on how you think I'm doing whether I'm doing good or not or what body parts you think it needs more work etc so just one second I'm gonna put this down so there and hopefully I can try and get some um, some before after picture so there we go so as you see this is my um, this is my side abs front side and back back okay and then the front is that the front relaxed relaxed this is relaxed this is flexed now I want you to notice notice what I do here notice what I do here it's like at first it's nothing right so the trick is to be able to right be able to like flex it without seeming like you're flexing it so I'm like this right so the fitness model the trick is to be able to like look natural without actually um, looking like you're flexing so anyway that's another thing that I need feedback is to w the walk is I'm working on my walk to be able to like do the walk like naturally and to have this confident walk and confident smile right so that's another thing that I'm going to ask your feedback I'm gonna post other videos where I show you my walk and I want you to maybe perhaps give me some feedback so as I said in the next two weeks I'm, I'm releasing th a series of three videos to help you also be able to do this so as you see my other video 10 days ago I had more fat so hopefully you can see the difference like I can see that there is a uh, there's definitely definition happening here right in fact I actually got bigger you know if you notice I actually gained size so which is kind of funny because I went from 150 um, 152 and a half pounds to 154 and a half in about 10 days but I actually seem more lean that's how it seems so uh, I, I still need to negotiate with my coach Matthew Park on how I'm going to move forward now you may be asking why do you have a coach and why do you you know you've already won a pro card and you've already done this before why do I have a coach because as we go through this process it's a very strange process sometimes we go through different emotions right you know how it is right one day you wake up and you feel really good and you feel like you have to eat more someday you look in the mirror and you don't like how you look so every single day we go through different emotions and um, me and many other uh, people who are uh, even beginners or pros or whatever we all choose to have someone to guide us okay so for me I always make sure I have a coach to guide me and my coach right now is Matthew Park who is a professional bodybuilder natural bodybuilder and uh, he gives me feedback he tells me okay this week I want you to have let's say 200 grams of protein 300 grams of carb and let's say 60 grams of fat and again how I track this using this uh, my fitness pal I track it and then I take pictures once a week to see my progress see how my body is reacting now everybody's body is different right so there is no standard way for everyone's body the whole trick is you know we have 16 weeks to get ready for the contest right so we track our body every week how much food we eat how much how our body looks and we modify it as we go along and yes we do cycle carbs up and down as we go through the process so to summarize, to summarize um, I have a few points with this video one is that the progress that I made although in the video I made it seem like it's only 10 days really I started off my my journey three weeks before I tell you guys okay so I'm kind of kind of being authentic right now I'm telling you three weeks before I already decided to do this and I kept screwing things up okay so the process is slow so if you have been trying to do it and you kept like failing and you're not showing to the gym as much as you like let me tell you you're not alone and it's okay just stick to it and the desire keeps growing and you naturally start showing up more two in order for me to make sure that I'm succeeding I make sure that I track my food my training and my sleep pattern 
it's very important to track the sleep pattern what time I wake up what time I go to sleep if I did track my meals if I um, you know all the things that I'm doing if I'm doing or not it's very important to do that because why because if I look at the end of the week and I had like seven days and out of the seven days four out of seven days I have check 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 I feel good I feel inspired right and that motivates me number three uh, uh, number four I can't remember I want to give you uh, something that I've did it's almost like cheating you could say where, where I made my body look better than last video first of all is I got a haircut okay so I got a haircut automatically that makes my head smaller makes my shoulder look bigger and that makes me just look better okay that's one two I used uh, crest teeth widening strips okay so they're, they're these teeth widening strips and by doing that my teeth becomes more white I just look better to myself and to others three I tan my body I started doing nine minutes of tanning every other day and I use the tanning cream again you want to use your own um, you want to use your own logic if you want to be tanning or not if it's healthy or not there's a whole argument but from my research uh, tanning industry it's a billion dollar industry and there's other industries who are fighting to take the customers away and depending on your skin type a little bit of tanning regularly doesn't do harm that's just my research and I'm not a doctor so you want to do your own research I choose to tan because it makes me feel good and I and I'm willing to take the risk for it now a few years from now if I die from skin cancer you know you can laugh at me but for now I'm okay um, so that's the thing so tanning teeth widening haircut and um, and of course cardio right I've been doing cardio in the morning uh, 40 minutes I've been doing six days out of the week 40 minutes of cardio first thing in the morning this is the second week that I'm doing regular cardio in the morning um, the first week I was doing 30 minutes good so now it's your turn now what I want you to do is I want you to click the link below because I want to find out about your challenges and your goals so I can make sure I send you the videos to help you specifically I've already received a lot of your uh, emails that you that are coming a lot of your email that are that you're sending me but I want to make sure that I cover it so in the next few couple of weeks I'm gonna send you three video series and I'm gonna invite you to a live training where I will I will answer all your questions and I will show you the three-step model that I used to be able to get ripped and every week I'm gonna continue posting videos to hopefully inspire you to show you how you can do the same thing and once you can do it once you know once you do it like once you go from having like belly fat here and not having it you can do it always right Imagine once you get this, you can do it for the rest of your life. If I can go back to like, you know, a few years ago when I didn't know, if I just, if I just could fly there and, and, you know, get the knowledge that I have now, I would be so much happier before. I don't know if that makes sense. But if I could basically take the knowledge I have right now and go back a few years, um, I would laugh of how easy it is, is what I'm trying to say. Right? So you may think... Wow, it's so complicated. I don't know what to eat. I don't know how much cardio to do. I don't know. Da, 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 da. It seems so complicated, but it's actually really simple. It's actually really, really simple. Okay? All you need to do is to track your food and training. Keep, uh, keep increasing your certainty by keeping track of your routines and seeing your progress. And continue moving forward. That's it. It's not that difficult. <laughs> you know? Track your food. Keep increasing your confidence. And keep making progress. That's it. And then next thing you know, you wake up and you, you have this body. I know it seems difficult for you, but it's actually not that difficult. And hopefully I can prove that to you by these videos. So anyway, so I know I, I uh, jumped from this topic to that topic a little bit and um, I did that, but I hope, uh, I hope you found this video valuable. Go ahead and um, share your comments and, and what you think, uh, what are your challenges, and make sure you click the link below in order for you to receive the three-part video series and come to the live event because it's gonna be amazing.